Hello and welcome to the Spartan Pre-Game Show. I'm John Schwartz. Alongside me, head coach Greg Deblack, as we get set for the Spartans home opener against Grove City College coming up in just a few minutes. And coach, before we talk about today's game, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about last week's game, or I should say two weeks ago when you guys took on Chicago. A uh, 34 to 14 win, a little bit of a slow start for the team, but really towards the end of the third quarter, uh, things started to come together offensively for you guys. Yeah, I think it was a combination of our defense playing really strong after the first quarter. Uh, great field position uh, through a couple returns and, and the defense playing so well. And the offense finally hitting their stride. Um, you know, we were, you know, wondering how Rob Kuda would do. It was really his first action since his knee surgery. Um, you know, in December, and he, he started slow like you would expect, but then heated up, and you look at the stats at the end, three touchdowns, no turnovers, 63% completion percentage. You know, it, it certainly is respectable, but, you know, not not the Rob Cuda that we saw last year, so it's stuff that we've worked on the last two weeks is to make him more comfortable with what we're doing. Yeah, you know, in addition to Rob, really the connection that he had with Justin Fan in that game, 15 receptions for Justin, ties a program record, Talk a little bit about Justin, and not only just Justin, but also the relationship he has with Rob and how that's grown in the last three years. Well, I think Justin is, he's a matchup problem for, for defenses. He's so quick. He's probably the quickest, you know, receiver I've ever coached. Um, he's very adept at getting open in small spaces, and he's kind of been our go-to guy here uh, early in the season um, until we get some other, you know, other receivers going timing wise with Rob so it was just kind of what was open they did a really nice job of shutting down our outside receivers but our inside receivers had more room to operate um you know in addition to what Justin can do in the game on offense I think we saw special teams with him and Cody uh both really excel in that game those two guys having those kick returns getting the field position the impact that has on the game for you going forward, what, what is that impact and, and how important is that to your success this year? Well, I think you saw it against Chicago, you know, when the offense struggled, but when you, we kept consistently getting the ball in good field position because of returns and strong defensive play, um, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on the opposition to, to be that deep into their territory. You know, eventually something's going to happen and it happened, you know, quickly in the second half four times. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's a luxury to have. When Cody got hurt last year, our numbers fell dramatically. So he's an excellent returner. And, and Justin, again, as a punt returner in, in closed spaces, making people miss, there's few few guys that can do what he can do. Um, defensively, getting Cody Calhoun back and then also getting Zach Lyon back as well, adding to what was already a pretty experienced unit. What impact have those two had defensively for you guys and especially in that first game against Chicago? I think uh, Zach really stood out. Um, he, I think he led us in tackles, uh, if not very close to that. Um, and Cody's presence, you know, is, is for a coach is, uh, it's a confidence builder. We know that he can erase some big plays with his speed and his experience. And really the defense in, in total, um, there's so many guys that have played so much football that you, you feel confident getting on the field that whatever happens, they're going to be able to adjust. And, and sometimes freshmen are ready to play physically, but, you know, they haven't seen everything that these guys have played. So, you know, it, it's such a, a, a you know, a, again, my mind is kind of at ease with all those seniors out there. And even if we get injured, which will happen, uh, we have guys coming off the bench that, again, have experience being in the, those situations. Start looking at this week's game in Grove City and, you know, Obviously, the record for Grove City in the last few years hasn't been great, but as a coach, does this make that does that make this a harder week for you guys in the sense that you need to make sure the team isn't overlooking this game? Obviously, and you know any team can win it every day, and Grove yeah. City has certainly made some improvements. But does that make it a harder game for you guys in that sense from a coaching staff perspective? Well, I think with with this group with so many seniors, yeah, you have to keep them focused on every game because they have seen them before and and they may have something in their minds. Um, you know, and looking forward to the next game or down the road. And, and that's the challenge as a coaching staff to get them focused in. Um, you know, all, all we can tell the kids is watch the film and don't look at the record, because if you watch the film, you'll see an improving football team that has some weapons on offense, that have made strides on defense, and they're still trying to find their way on that side of the ball also. But it's an improved team over what we played last year. And, you know, let's focus on us. Um, and let's, if we execute, you know, we feel no matter who we're playing, we're going to be a tough team to beat. So let's just 
concentrate on us and respect everyone each week and go 1-0. I know that's coaching talk, but kind of boring, but that's kind of what we've focused on. And Coach, thank you very much. We'll have kickoff coming up in just a second between the Spartans and the Wolverines. Andrew Luffglass with the play-by-play, -play, Eddie Jansen with the color commentary. Stay with us.